DA welcomes NPA's decision to release Zuma documents. North Korea suffers major blow as rocket crashes. With your news headlines, I'm Kensani Maranelli. The DA says the NPA's decision to release to the party its record of the 2009 decision to drop corruption charges against President Jacob Zuma will pave the way for a full review before the North Gauteng High Court. The prosecution's authority announced yesterday that it had decided not to approach the Constitutional Court over last month's Supreme Court of Appeal ruling, which ordered it to furnish the party with documents relating to the decision taken by the then acting NPA boss Mogodedi Mche. The NPA had said that its decision to drop the charges against Zuma stands and can be defended in any court of law. DA Federal Executive Chair James Salfer. We will, with our lawyers, study the record and depending on the nature of the documentation we receive, we will brief our legal team to proceed with a substantive review of this decision to discontinue the prosecution against President Zuma and allowing a court to determine whether this decision was taken on defensible and rational legal ground or whether it was actuated by a political consideration. A police officer has been shot and wounded in a shootout with six suspects during a high-speed car chase in Bel Air on the Cape Flats. Police spokesperson November Philander says police were patrolling the area when they spotted a stolen barkey. Philander says the suspects opened fire when police tried to pull the vehicle off the road. They fled on foot and were arrested with the help of the public. Three firearms were retrieved. They've been linked to an earlier armed robbery in Perro, Industria. They face charges of attempted murder and armed robbery, among others. The wounded police officer is recovering in hospital in a stable condition. Human rights activists and DA members, including the party's parliamentary leader, Lindiwe Mazibugo, are expected to embark on a solidarity walk with leaders of Mbekweni village near Queenstown in the Eastern Cape, The walk is aimed at highlighting the failure of the province in providing transport to schools in many rural schools. Makaya Komisa reports. We are not happy at all because government promised to transport them, but now they just abandoned them. With the problem of learners to register for schooling at the beginning of the year, and all of a sudden they are left stranded. Government said it's going to pay, but now we have to dig deep from our empty pockets. A South African historian and panelist at the Indian Ocean Naval Symposium underway in Cape Town, Professor Thien Bodhidar, has called on African countries to make more use of the Indian Ocean for trade. The symposium has been exploring strategies to beef up maritime security on the Indian Ocean. Bodhita says while the Indian Ocean is the most strategic ocean for trade and economic growth, Africa has not taken advantage of this opportunity. I would believe that the potential for this growth is in Africa, but we need to utilize our access to the sea to have substantial economic growth and to also trade with our partners in other parts of the world. So from that point of view, it is crucial for the potential of Indian Ocean countries, but also for the potential of Africa. North Korea admitted its much-hyped long-range rocket failed to deliver a satellite into orbit on Friday, while United States and South Korean officials said it crashed into the sea a few minutes after launch, dealing a blow to the reclusive state. Pyongyang had defiled international pressure from the United States, the United Nations and others to push ahead with the launch, time to celebrate the 100th birthday of Kim Sung, the deceased founder of the state, and to coincide with the ascent